Social distancing is impossible in the Monroe prison, and tensions inside are at a boiling point. Now, those are conclusions. They came in today in a state investigation of the Monroe prison, where 11 inmates and six staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. Cairo 7's Gary Horker tells us both inmates and guards are demanding changes. Well, the report talks about intense amounts of stress and tension, and not just among the inmates, it's also profoundly affecting the DOC staff inside. In fact, the report refers to prison workers even recommending releasing some prisoners to create more room and stop the outbreak. These photos taken by the oversight group on a recent tour shows inmates crowded into the minimum security wing where there's been 10 cases of COVID-19. There's no room for social distance in a place where using the phone puts you shoulder to shoulder with other inmates, some of whom have other severe health problems like Michael Morales, who's nearing the end of his sentence. If he was to get the COVID-19, which is in this unit, this could be his death sentence. Carmela Holt is Morales' wife, and she pointed him out. He's the inmate on the far right of this photo, contained in the 30-page Ombuds report, which puts it bluntly, quote, the facility is unable to impose social distancing due to facility structure and population size. While we were doing this interview tonight, the inmates were allowed outside. We love you! And Michael Morales called us up with his own report. The associate superintendent came down here the other day, and he came down on here, and he said, man, is this the only thing that's separating you guys is this plywood? And uh, I asked him, I said, well, how long have you been working here? You're just now seeing this? It's been like this forever. The report shows photos of the destruction caused when 100 inmates staged a revolt two weeks ago. The report says, quote, inmates and staff are under tremendous stress, and it is quite difficult to imagine the physical and emotional strain of staff coming in each day to work with a population sick with a terrifying pandemic disease. They need to figure out what they can do for people who have medical concerns. There's a lot of people in here who will die if they get that COVID-19. Arrogance Wood Houston says her husband also has severe underlying health issues and he needs to be quarantined. He still has a long life to live and I'm not going to let them take it. The Department of Corrections is reacting to the report, saying it's constantly making improvements and adjustments in the prison. Meanwhile, the NAACP is sending Governor Inslee its own set of recommendations. The top of the list, release all inmates convicted of crimes before 1984 because the elderly population, they say, is the most vulnerable to the virus. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.